views expressed in the videos are my observation, analysis of events, persons based on principles of astrology. It's not my intent to predict, forecast absolute outcomes, only suggest how they may unfold. Nothing is set in stone. I could be wrong, but often I'm right. My desire is not to promote fear, only inform about what we see unfolding. It is our wish to prepare our subscribers for events that could affect them, their family, their goals, and their future, to help to prepare for what you may already feel suspect is happening, and to send a warning shot across the bow and raise a flag of concern. Our goal is to help, not hinder, in these perilous times, to inspire and offer possible direction, and to reveal that a greater plan and purpose are behind all that is happening. Eventually, we will see a brighter day. If you would like to show your appreciation for our work on these videos or this channel, and also the Knowing Whispers channel, you can always click on the word thanks at the bottom of all the videos. Hello everybody, it's Robert Cosmar, the Astrology of Life YouTube channel, and also the Knowing Whispers YouTube channel. And on top of that, also the Knowing Whisper Messages from the Universe Facebook group. If you have a chance to go over to Facebook, take a look for a group called Knowing Whispers Messages from the Universe, and you can join us there to discuss all of the factors involved in what we see developing in the world on a level of spiritual awareness and also um, the things that we see happening politically and otherwise. Today my video is entitled 2022-2026 MAGA Cloud Over America. And what I'm going to do is to answer a question for a lot of you that watch my videos as to what I feel could be the timeline of um, the circumstances that we see developing, how critical they could be, how long they could be. Um, this not, is not to say that I absolutely have some kind of a message from the universe saying that I'm right and everybody else is wrong, but I'm going to give you my sense of what we're walking into. Okay. Currently, as you know, if you've been watching TV, Donald Trump, as usual, is in a lot of trouble. It looks like, you know, that any day now that he could be uh, indicted for serious crimes on so many different levels, but yet he hasn't. And I know that over the last several years that um, people have been scratching their heads, they're still scratching their heads, and they're wondering why this individual has not been called on the carpet, indicted, spent jail time, okay? Uh, there's all kinds of conspiracy theories out there. Um, fear still is a big issue around the world and also in the United States. So I'm going to try to give you an astrological explanation for this, and I'm going to be showing you four charts. Two of these are Donald Trump, and two of these are the chart of the United States of America. In none of these charts am I going to be showing you anything about the aspects to the Midheaven or the Ascendant particularly in the chart of the U.S., because the actual time of the chart of the uh, United States of America on uh, July the 4th, 1776, that exact time is not known. So to try to use aspects to the angles in particular is really kind of stretching things, okay? What you're looking at right now on the screen is a graphical ephemeris, and these are very handy at being able to show the astrologer all of the influences and factors that are having at any particular point in time. Okay, Down below here you can see to the left 2022, this goes all the way up to 2025 in July. Over here, <clears throat> these are the planetary positions of all right, the day. July the 4th, 1776. These are the current planets as they are now by transit, okay, aspecting these natal planets, okay. Transits are triggers, okay. They're indicators along with secondary progressions, 
okay, um, that give us an idea of how intense the energy buildup is. Okay, when we see aspects of planets like Pluto, Uranus, and Neptune in squares and oppositions and stuff, we know that individuals, countries, corporations, okay, uh, anything like that, are headed into a very challenging and a very possibly difficult time, okay? And if you've been watching my videos over the last several months, you also know that I use the word karma, okay? So I may even talk about that in this particular video, all right? Now, one of the things that I want to point out right away down here, here's November 2022. We know that on November the 8th, the midterms are going to be happening, okay? There's a couple of factors here that for me are significant. One of these has to do, okay, in the middle of November, Jupiter goes stationary direct. Neptune goes stationary direct. After January, Uranus goes stationary direct. Pluto in October, okay, maybe middle October, stationary direct, okay? We have Eris stationary direct, January, all right? As you go up here, close to November, Saturn stationary direct, all right? Now, what does this mean, okay? There's a lot of planets right now that are retrograde. Okay. When planets are retrograde, we don't see as much outward action. It's more internalized. Okay, It's behind the scenes. Planets are believed to be the strongest when they're stationary direct in terms of the effects that they give forth and the things that you know can happen. All right? What I'm suggesting here, because these are all either happening after or a little before the midterm elections, is that this is an indication of energy that is going to begin to burst forward, okay? It could be everything from demonstrations to potential conflict, you know, intensified. Um, it could be any of those things. And it's really not that easy to try to say between 2022 now and 2026, how severe is this situation going to be? Okay, but we have a clue. And this is the second part of this video that I'm gonna be showing you here. If you have watched me do videos on the, um, I guess you would call it a planet or uh, a planetoid. Uh, there's another name for it that I can't think right off the top of my head that she used to describe it. It is the planet Eris, and it is believed to be considerably further than Pluto. Its meaning is strife and conflict, and it plays a very significant part in both the chart of the United States of America and also the chart of Donald Trump during these times. And this is Eris right here, and you'll notice here that as we move into 2023, actually, as we go to the, the period of the election itself, the midterm election, all right, we have a situation here where Eris, okay, almost exactly at the midterms, is squaring the USA Uranus and the USA Mercury. Now, it has been doing this for some time, but in astrology, the closer that the planets get to other planets, by transits, by progressions, um, you know, by even conjunctions in the natal chart, the stronger the effect of the planets that are involved in terms of what we see actually happening. Eris very plainly uh, moves exceedingly slower than Pluto, and from what we can tell, it signifies a time of strife and conflict and upheaval, okay? You'll notice here that Eris goes stationary direct one, two, three times, and maybe even more than that. I don't have it beyond 2025. But it is squaring both Uranus in the USA chart 
and Mercury. Mercury is communications, strife and conflict and communications. All right, Eris squaring Uranus. The United States of America, for all practical purposes, is a Uranian country, Uranus, freedom. Okay, so we have the stage here between now and 2026 and even maybe a little bit further beyond that where the temperament of the country okay uh, involving issues of freedom involving the way that people communicate with each other what is the main communication that's going on strife and conflict all of these do not bode well for a peaceful period of the next three or four years, 2022 to 2026. So, again, right at this moment in time, Donald Trump looks like he's being cornered. If you've noticed some of the comments that I have left in the community section of the Astrology of Life, uh, I think that many, from what I could tell from the poll that I did, Many of you have the same sense of things, that number one, Donald Trump is not going to ever give up the lie, okay? That if he is cornered, all right, he is going to take the unthinkable to another level, okay? And lastly, there is a possibility that Donald Trump has already betrayed the country by selling top secret documents to other countries for money, because that's what he does. All right, so not a very good outlook, all right, for the United States, but it is predictable based upon what we have been discussing and what you have learned over the last several years, okay, from the videos that I've been doing. If you'll remember in 2024, there is an eclipse, a second eclipse that's going to go across the United States of America, coming up from Mexico on through the Midwest, Ohio and on into um, New England. The last time this happened, it was a forewarning of the years ahead regarding Donald Trump. All right. Many people believe that this second eclipse is going to be the end of America as we know it. All right. Now, that's pretty extreme. Uh, there's a lot of theories out there. Uh, the only thing I can tell you for certain is, is that we're seeing the effect of this Pluto return. That whether we like it emotionally or not, whether we um, want things to go a certain way, we're in a situation where the universe is taking over and they are essentially going to see to it that we come to terms with what we have created in the United States and in the world that we live in. Okay? Now, let's stretch this out a little bit further here. This second chart you're looking at is the USA chart. It's a little bit more convoluted. This is 2018, actually probably around 2017, 2016, and it goes clear up to 2030. And I'm going to bring your attention back here to Eris. Okay? You can see Eris. Eris is like the sign Pisces, you know, but it's not quite the same way. This line here, this is Eris. Okay? You can see that it got very close in about 2017. It went retrograde. All right. 2019. You can see here that Eris is coming into the square of both Uranus and Mercury numerous times going all the way. This is fairly close here. This is 2025. And then it slowly begins to move away. All right. So for me, Eris is the main thing when it comes to this contentious, uh, combative type of combination of fear and, and, and anger and racism and confusion. All of this, you know, the confusion part for me is the opposition of Neptune to the Neptune in the chart of the United States of America. But what I'm trying to show you here is that from, for all practical purposes, from 2016-17 on through 2024 into 2025, that Eris is squaring the chart 
of the United States of America impacting our lives in a very uh, disturbingly powerful way. All right, now, how does this relate to Donald Trump? Okay, well, you're probably tired of me talking about Donald Trump as being a tool of the universe. And I know, like you, that it's very difficult to emotionally detach yourself from the things you see happening, that you find it hard to accept the fact that anything like this could be happening to the United States of America. Because the way we grew up in the 50s and 60s, we had a very idealistic, a very positive, a very um, enjoyable view, you know, that uh, is still being pushed, you know, on the internet and on TV when you're talking about marketing and promoting of products and stuff. But this is Donald Trump, all right? This is 2020 through through 2025. Now, Donald Trump has something else going on here. You'll notice, all right, you'll notice here that Eris in his chart, okay, in January of this, of 2023, Eris is goes stationary direct while it is conjuncting his natal Saturn. And you can see here that Eris aspects are go stationary direct three times between now and 2025. Now, in Donald Trump's chart, there are so many factors here to be understood. Okay? If you remember some of the videos I've done about his Vedic horoscope. The power of that horoscope, the fact that um, in that horoscope he currently is in his Jupiter Mercury Dasa, and both planets are fairly well supported, which is why I kind of hinge on saying that Donald Trump is going to, you know, end up behind bars. He does have Saturn transiting Saturn in his seventh house, okay? It is opposing his natal Mars. This is all of this litigation, all of this unbelievable litigation that's going on in almost every part of this man's life. I mean, he is number one, without putting it on the FBI's list of the number one target, Donald Trump is far and above the number one target. And we're all kind of amazed. And, of course, if you've listened to the videos that I've done regarding karma, you have somewhat of an understanding of why. Okay? And I know that this a lot of times is not something that people like to hear or that they feel comfortable hearing uh, in regards to the effect of karma on our lives, you know? And I've done videos talking about that, that in our lives, from our very young age, we have dreams, we have ambitions, we have ideas, we have ways in which we think we can control our future, and we're determined that it is going to be that way. Well, for the vast majority of humanity, that's not the way it happens. Okay, this is the interplay of karma with our own particular ego view of why we're here. And this is why these things happen beyond our control. Okay, and then what you're seeing right here, <clears throat> different than the situation with the chart of the United States of America. All right, Eris is squaring his Saturn, and it's also at certain points squaring his Venus in his chart. Okay, Venus, of course, rules not only women pleasure, money, okay? Saturn in Donald Trump's chart really has to do with a combination of his karma and his narcissism uh, and his unwillingness to change, okay? Um, a lot of times my view of Eris is that when Pluto has not been able to cause the transformation that it represents. Eris is the cleanup batter. Eris says, okay, if you're not going to listen, if you're not going to make the adjustment, then you're going to see the consequences of what you've been doing. And in this case, in Trump's chart, what I feel you're saying here is the continuing litigation, the continuing um, <clears throat> buildup of energy against him, probably because of the things that he will be doing and instigating during these times. So you have in both of these charts, the chart of the U.S., okay, and the chart of Donald Trump, you have this uh, severity of conflict going on, okay? Uh, 
and of course the big question is will Donald Trump run for president in 2024 and will he get reelected or will he suffer you know legally from the circumstances that are happening right now and not be allowed to another thing to keep in mind here let's say that Donald Trump is not allowed to run for president in 2024 but okay what is the possibility that Donald Trump with the MAGA support that he has could possibly create a adversarial okay, situation in the United States where a vast portion of the United States are still okay, freedom-loving human beings, but that a third of the country is very involved in conspiracy and in some form of terrorism and in some form of wanting to have him as a, uh, uh, I guess, savior, if you want to call it that. All right. It doesn't have to be necessarily that he's elected president again. It could be that the power, okay, of the division is so strong at that point in time that people just automatically look at him like people that are Catholic look at the Pope. This is the kind of status that he has. All right. He essentially is a savior for a lot of people who want things to be different than what they are. All right? And of course, you know by now my position on that. Okay? Uh, that's not what I see going on here. But it is very freakish. It is very disturbing. You can see here in this particular chart for Donald Trump that Eris is very much prominent in his life through 2025 and 2026, okay? This last chart here is Donald Trump from about 2016 on to 2026, and this kind of shows Eris's impact upon him, okay? All the way through, you can see here that Eris still has an impact upon that Saturn, even going into 2026, a very close aspect. It moves very slowly, okay? So what I'm saying to you is, don't expect Donald Trump to find paradise anytime soon. And don't expect the United States of America to calm down. Because these are, in a sense, they're going to be the dark years. All right? The very intense dark years where, you know, to use that terminology, the testing or trying of our souls. Uh, and very, very realistically, okay, the things that we'll see happening beginning now through 2026 may be beyond anything that you have been concerned about from 2016 up until right now, all right? Um, and I say that cautiously because of the fact that I don't have, other than my astrological intuition, my understanding of astrology, I don't have any power to direct the future. I can just simply share with you what the astrology could indicate, okay? But you'll know, okay, as these things evolve, that we're heading into very, very dangerous and dire times, all right? And let's hope that the madness, the MAGA madness, as I like to call it, doesn't get so out of control that we see widespread civil disobedience, bloodshed, terrorism, um, <clears throat> some kind of form of, of uh, military action where... Um, People in groups decide that they're going to go after local police, you know. Uh, I was talking to my brother who is a retired police officer and we were talking about, you know, the situations of these homegrown terrorists that their plan, okay, their plan if it ever got to the point of really getting out of control would be that they would go after the local police first, okay, uh, because that would be the first, you know, uh, indication of retaliation or of uh, defense against anything that they might, you know, try to pull at that time. So there are many things, like I said, many indicators. It's already started. You know about the police situation, the FBI. You see, all these things are beginning to unravel and to reveal themselves. <clears throat> so this is the future that essentially that we have going forward in front of us. And I'm back to the USA chart here. Okay. I hope that you enjoy this from the standpoint of astrological insight into what is going on in the world, what is going on down the road for us. For those of you that follow 
the uh, Knowing Whisper channel. I sincerely hope that the information that CJ and I are sharing with you is helping you to affirm the changes that you're going through, that you have been going through as you have begun the awakening process, and that you can count on our support and you can count on the support of the universe during this particular period of time to help you to continue to evolve through all of these changes that we see going on. We are in the midst, the beginning really in some ways, of massive changes in our view of life, our understanding of life, and more importantly, of our understanding of the universe within us and within ourselves. This is a wonderful time to be born anew, consciously, okay? But that doesn't mean that it's not going to be a painful time, okay? For those of you who have listened to me over the past seven or eight years and in your own personal life, you know that your greatest degree of conscious awakening generally comes when there's been a tragedy of some nature. Uh, and I've mentioned this before in some of the teachings I've done over on Knowing Whisper. The pain that we feel when change is going on is in proportion to how much we hold on to our ego identity or our beliefs and are not willing to change and evolve. That's where the pain is. That pain is that sense of vulnerability, that sense of of lost, you know, when something like that happens to you. It's necessary to be able to open you up to wider horizons with inside of yourself. Okay? All right, again, I want to mention this. All right? If you want to engage in talking about uh, the universe, talking about spiritual awakening and awareness, uh, CJ and I started a new group over on Facebook. It's called Knowing Whispers Dash Messages from the Universe. Okay, and uh, you can join us over there. Uh, we have a select group of folks over there that have joined us to talk about the process, okay, of inner transformation, the nuances, to share experiences, to share insights, to support one another. That's the purpose for that particular channel. And if you're looking for that kind of thing, you can join us over there and you can share what's going on with you in your life. And we have folks over there that can share with you what their experiences have been. So keep that in mind. Uh, as I mentioned in a couple other videos, we're not gonna be doing any live streams for a while. Uh, over the last six months or so, uh, my feeling is, is that the universe wanted me to focus on readings for my clients, doing videos like this, okay? And more importantly, teaching from the whispers that they give me that I create the images that you see on our channel and maybe throughout other groups on the internet to share insights to you about what is happening, why it's happening, okay? What these things feel like, what the sense is of these things to help you, all right? Uh, to deal with this ordeal. So all of these things, Okay, uh, we're here for you, and we hope that you will share your insight, your awareness with us as well. All right, from the love of my life, CJ, my spiritual partner, and from Toby, our fur angel, thank you again for your support. For those of you that are subscribers, those of you that are members, those of you that make monthly donations, those things do help, and we do appreciate them tremendously. So, thank you, and please comment and share this video.